Hi folks, this is another random Lando show. I, I, I should have made this for Throwback Thursday, but oh well, I can't wait till Thursday. And this involves my good friend Mel, who just loves Burger King, who just loves, you know, wearing the King hats and everything like that. And it just occurred to me, speaking of those Burger King hats, my second grade teacher, who was, I, I, don't, I don't like saying insults about anybody because it looks bad on me, but she, ah, she was an evil teacher, okay? And she got a whole, went to Burger King, and yeah, they were there at the time, but, you know, we never wore them, I don't think, because my mom simply didn't go to Burger King. Jack in a Box was up her alley. I guess because it agreed with her and Burger King didn't. <laughs> well, anyway, my second grade teacher got, must have gotten a whole box load of them. And what she did was, she stay, as we were doing our class assignment, she would she was up on a chair or a little ladder. I don't remember what it was. She was stapling them up, uh, you know, click, click with the stapler as as wall deckers, and they made pretty cool wall deckers. But being the mean teacher she was, and she kind of looked like, well, how can I put this? You know, had had curly hair, early seventies hairstyle look. But she, <laughs> well, you know, when you, you, you look at something that happens and then, you know, I have a habit with something really funny, like music going through my head. And, and you know, first of all, I want you to study this old Sesame Street because this was, this came out right around that era, mid 70s or early 70s. And, you know, me being a Sesame Street buff, even in second grade, and you mattresses know. in there so far. I want you to and listen. Here comes the royal wacky right now with another one. Oh, pardon me, sir. Let's cover the frog of Sesame Street News. Now, hear, hear that, that boom, gong, and the sound. All right, now, wait till he gets the mattress up on there. You know, Kermit the Fog, Sesame Street News. This went through my head. Is the 10th mattress you've got there right now? Oh, I got my hands full, buddy. Could you count them yourself? Uh, 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 yes, uh, okay. Uh, well, as you can tell, he's, he's very busy right now. But uh, <laughs> as you remember, I counted nine mattresses, and he's adding one mattress. And I think nine and one will probably make ten. But uh, we'll find out shortly. Okay? Let's see. There it goes right now. Mm -hmm. See that? <laughs> <laughs> All right, now you hear that drum roll as he fell and he crashed. Here, I'll do it again. I'll do it again. Oh, shoot. There it goes right now. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> All right, when my teacher was stapling up on there and she was almost on our tippy toe, she, would, she kind of went like this like as though she was going to fall down <laughs> and she grabbed the wall real quick. And that went right through my head as she did that. And I started laughing. And she turned around. Alan, it's not funny. I could have fell. And the rest of the class kind of looked. Okay, you guys are punished. <laughs> I, I, it just... It, it, I'm, I'm sorry if it wasn't funny, man. But this teacher was, as I said, was, was typically... Ugh, not like a, a, a typical television mean teacher show thing. Bully. <laughs> but I thought that was cool. And Mel... I love the Burger King hat, and I love the Burger King fries, because they're, they're, the Burger King has the best fries overall out of all the fast food chains. <laughs> Till next time. Let's do it one more time. Let's do it one more time. <laughs>